All right. Well, today we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5 again, and we're going to be in verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is a popular verse. A lot of people have heard it before. Um, and in talking about, you know, we need to light up the world. They, they, you know, you, you have a light. The light does no good unless it actually what? Shines so people can see it. You know, if you hide it, it does no good. It doesn't help anybody at all. Why, and why do we need a light? We need a light to find the way what? Through the darkness. You know, uh, we, we love it in, in, in the daytime. The beautiful sun's out shining. It lights our way around. But at night, we need something to show us where to go so we don't bump into things. We don't get hurt and do things like that. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten up in the middle of the night and my wife's like, hey, turn the light on so you can go get what you need. No, nah, I'm fine. And what happens? Like my toes hit some corner of the bed or something I didn't know was in the middle of the floor. I can't tell you how many times I tripped over something in the middle of the floor that I didn't realize was there uh, through my 51 years of being alive. If I just turned on the light, I would, I would not have tripped over it at all. And God doesn't want us to be tripped up as all in our walk. He wants our light to shine to others. But first of all, he wants us to shine so we can see uh, where we're going to see, so we can see what's happening. Jesus said he's, he called himself the light of the world. He was come to shine in the darkness so we could see where we're going and we, we could avoid the obstacles that are going. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people have the light of Christ, but you know what they do is they take that light and they they hide it under uh, under something and say, well, I'm going to keep it to myself and I'll be able to know where I'm going. But there's a couple problems with that. Uh, the, the, the first problem is, is Jesus wants you to shine because everybody else doesn't have a light. And they're walking in darkness. They're bumping into things. They're messing up their toes spiritually. They're, and they need to see the light. He wants us to shine brightly. But if I shine brightly, people might think that I'm weird. They're not going to think that you're weird. Here's the thing. When the world thinks you're weird, you're normal before God. God wants you to be beyond yourself. Remember, you are no longer part of this world. You become a Christian. You're part of his kingdom. You get to live forever with him. And you know what? He says, and I will take care of you. And here's the thing. A light, it, it could, well, I'm afraid it'll get blown out. God's going to protect that light. He's going to be with you to protect it. He wants you to shine fully because when you shine fully, and the light's fully exposed. You know what God has to do to protect that, that, that flicker, that candle? He has to do even more things to make sure that light continues to shine because you're not trying to protect it. See, what people do when they try to, I'm going to protect that light. I'm going to put something in front of it so it doesn't blow out. You know what you're doing? You're keeping God from doing his job to protect you fully. Oh, you want to protect the light yourself? Go ahead. But when you see, when you try to hide it a little bit, you try to protect it a little bit, when you try to, to say, well, I'm, I'm going to shine, but only in a certain way, you're not allowing God to protect you as much as he wants to. A candlelight is a very fragile thing. Now, here's the thing. It can, as soon as you light a candle, boom, you can see it from, when in darkness, you can see it from just about anywhere because light pierces the darkness. But God wants to protect you. God wants you to have an amazing life. He wants you to know, I want you to be able to shine and not worry about that light going out. And when you put it up there for all to see, and that means anybody could do something to it, that activates the power of God to protect you and to be there in your life. Now, see, some others, they, they, they go and they protect it. Some others put, put, a, put a big thing over it and say, I, I just want to, I, I don't want people to think I'm, I'm strange and all that. No, here's the thing. You know what, God, he wants you to shine. He wants you to shine. Not only does he want you to shine and put your light out there, the more you put out there, the more he can fan the flame. The more he can make the light shine brighter and go further. And here's the cool thing about that. If you want your light to shine and go further than you can ever imagine, that means God has to bless you. Here's how God blesses you. God blesses you when you put yourself out there. He knows that's not an easy thing to do. Now, I'm not asking you to go out, go into your job, stand up at lunchtime and say, everybody needs to hear about Jesus. Yeah, that, that is looking foolish. <laughs> and no one's going to listen to that. What you need to do is shine how you do your job, how you treat your family, 
how you treat your church family, how much you put God first in your life by being in church and being involved in what God wants you to do, how, how, how you act at the grocery store where people can see you. That's where the light shines. Can they see Jesus in you just by how you live your life? And I say, how, how are they going to know it's Jesus? They should see your life being different. They can see it out there. A light's vulnerable. You're being vulnerable. Love is vulnerable, but you're being protected by the almighty, all-powerful God who wants you to be awesome. So let your light shine and realize no bad's going to happen to you because God says all things work together for those that love the Lord. Even the devil comes against you and says, I take what the devil does for evil and turn it into good. But you have two choices. You can let it shine. And then let God do his thing. You can take your light and I'm going to protect it a little bit. Here's the thing. A lot of people walk around with a candle like this so the wind doesn't blow it out. But then you're the one protecting it. God says, okay, you protect it. That's your choice. But you can let me do it instead. Choose to let your light shine so that Father can glorify, so you can glorify God. And God can glorify you through the deeds he does through you in amazing ways. So you're fire your flame never gets shut out like it says in the last verse let your light so shine before my enemies see your works and glorify your father by seeing what god does what good your good works means you're going to do things god gave you power to do things that people are going to see and you can only do through the power of god and he wants to do it his see god could do anything he wants but he wants to do it with and through you that's the amazing part of the gospel. You're part of the plan. So allow yourself to be like that today and light it up. Light your life up and see what God does. Dear Jesus, bless those today are listening. Help us, Lord, to let our light shine like it's never shown before. And watch God not only protect our light, but to glorify us and to show how great we can be with you and see you do amazing things through our life so we can be part of the experience to bring others to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And remember that Jesus loves and cares for you. I love and care for you, and you're absolutely awesome.